there's two things you want to lubricate, right? You want to lubricate the slide, and then you're also going to want to lubricate this uh, lead screw. And I'll show that later, but these are the, the most popular options for, for both of those applications. And I'll show a few examples for the, the grease and the oil, why they're not going to be very appropriate, and why you shouldn't use something that's too thick, too greasy, and also not liquid. Um, I tested this out before I actually painted the vise, so we're going to have to go back a little bit. Now listen. You can hear that uh, that buzzing sound is from the machine marks on the inside of the uh, the main body. So got my tub of grease here. I'm just going to take my fingers here, get a little bit like that. And what I'm going to do is just kind of apply it on the tip here, like that. All right. So installation. I'm just going to find the key there. There we go. And then I'm just going to slide it right in. Let me get a side shot of this. There we go, that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna slowly just feed it in. The tolerances are kind of small on this vise, so you're really not gonna need a whole lot of grease. And you can see how it's kind of gets stringy a little bit. If you can tell what I mean, but there's also some bare spots, even though they're covered. So, yeah, I just, you can still hear. You can still hear that, uh, that rubbing noise from the machine marks. And you can see how it's kind of tearing in some spots. Even if I put more grease on, it's still doing that. And I know the vise is never going to move that fast, but uh, I don't know. I just don't like how that feels. Now, another lubrication method, uh, another popular option is to use some heavyweight oil, uh, some bearing or some, uh, some gear oil or something like that. And so I've got mine in a cup here, and basically what you do is you just dunk the end in and then just slide it in, and it's that easy. And I will do that now. By the way, since I couldn't really get it on there very well, uh, basically if you use this sort of liquid method, I would dunk it in some oil and cover about the, the bottom third of your dynamic jaw. That, that seems to be about the right amount to completely coat it um, with a good amount of grease without too much um, extra. So just keep that in mind. I, I would dunk about a third, maybe a quarter, quarter to a third of the end of it. And if you need to, just re-dunk it again, put some more in there to get everything coated nice and evenly. It'll be really obvious, but yeah, just go with that. So while using gear oil will coat your uh, your jaw very nicely and it'll go in pretty smoothly. You can hear that. You don't really hear those machine marks very much. Maybe a little bit on the inward stroke, but it lubricates pretty nicely. The problem with it is, or with using a lip, uh, more liquid lubricant is that you get this, right? It's eventually gonna drip off there. And I, I know this is the excess, but over time, gravity's going to force, force it all down towards the bottom of this jaw and it's gonna come out every time you open and close this vise more, which means you have to re-lubricate much more often when you're using uh, a gear oil or uh, you know any kind of heavyweight oil versus something with a little bit more staying power. 
And the other issue with this is it's going to attract dirt and dust and it's going to get stuck in the oil and it's going to get into your vise and that's going to scratch the inside surface. Um, and it's also going to make the movement of your vise less smooth. So once again, you have to change it much more often to keep it smooth. So it's, it's not one of my preferred, um, it's not, uh, it's not my preferred choice for lubricating your slide. All right, so I applied some of the uh, the Teflon lubricant, this stuff. And here's what it looks like. I let it dry for a couple minutes, uh, basically just sprayed it on there and then inserted it in, and removed the dynamic jaw several times. And this is kind of what happens. Um, essentially it dries and then it, it just kind of flakes off uh, from friction. So I'm trying to buff it a little bit. And essentially, it's just coming off, just coming off in flakes like that. All right, so I got my Johnson's paste, or just any paste wax, but I happen to have Johnson's. Uh, once again, lint-free cloth. Just buy a bunch of these, you're gonna use them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip it in here. Get a little glob like this. I'm just going to apply it. Give it a nice little spread like that. And there we are. That's basically all it's going to need. Now I'm going to just remove a lot of the excess. And there we go, just gonna let that dry. And that's so all I just wetted it with the uh, the Johnson's paste wax. It's already really slippery. Obviously, when I get further out, it gets a little bit tougher because there's going to be there's going to be more force on this uh, this top section and stuff like that. That's going to keep it from sliding more. But once it's almost all the way in there, like it slides almost freely, so that's good. Okay, so to so to recap, these are the things I tested: uh, a paste wax, some gear oil, a spray-on lubricant and some uh, grease. So far and away the best one in my opinion for this application is the paste wax. Now keep in mind that um, this isn't always the case for every vice. This is just for these enclosed type vices with small tolerances that um, Wilton makes. And for that I think the paste wax is uh, best. That it, it's, it's also the cheapest in terms of you know how much you get this is going to last quite a long time, and I think it's like six or seven bucks that I paid for it. Uh, the next thing, if I was in a pinch, um, I would use a gear oil. A heavy, a heavyweight one, like 140 or something like that would be ideal. But, like I said, this has some downsides uh, based on the previous part of the video. These two on the right, I really don't recommend very much. Uh, certainly not for this style of ice. If you had a mecha uh, mechanics vise or something like that, um, with like those U those U shaped um, dynamic jaws, grease may be appropriate for that, but not for this type of vise, in my opinion. I had high hopes for this Dupont spray-on lubricant because it boasts some interesting features 
like uh, you know not attracting dirt and stuff like that because it it dries um, and it's also very easy to apply just spray it on and then it dries and you're good to go unfortunately in actual application um, it just doesn't come close to the paste wax it just flakes off as soon as you start using it even though it says on here that it's made for metal metal contact so it's kind of disappointing I tried it with one two and three coats and in each case it just didn't work very well it didn't reduce the friction as much as the, the paste wax uh, with any amount of films and then it like I said it just came off once it dried fully so can't really recommend it I've been trying to use it on my table saw and stuff like that but I still I still find this this is way more bang for the buck and it seems to work better in every application I've tried so far um, because it's the spray it doesn't actually go on even either so that poses another problem but yeah, I wouldn't recommend these two. Wouldn't really recommend these two for the slide. And uh, I also talked about two things you needed to lubricate the slide, which we talked about, and the lead screw. And for the lead screw, these are the recommendations. I'm not going to show it because there's very little difference that you can see on camera uh, between the three. I, I can tell you they feel pretty similar. So I, I don't really have one st a strong recommendation one way or the other, but if you stick with a synthetic grease or like this anti-seize product, you're going to be fine. Now, out of these, this is the only one I have some hesitation recommending just because it's very difficult to get off once you have it on. It takes, you know, you can keep wiping it over and over and over again, it still keeps coming off. So. Um, at least that was my experience. I, I used this stuff when I tried to get the dynamic jaw loose with the retaining ring. This is what was on there. And it's very smooth, like butter, but like I said, the cleanup is just really annoying with this. And these are both synthetic greases. They perform very similarly. Um, don't overthink it. Just use whatever you have on hand. I would recommend a synthetic grease. And this is what I'm currently using. I'm currently using the super lube on the lead screw and the paste wax on the slide. Those are my recommendations.